Hi, this is Matt Monahan of SA International reporting from the SA 2000 World Congress show floor. I'm with Greg Hopton and Frank Comissi of AVL. AVL was recently selected by the uh, EPA for its emissions testing initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about how AVL test equipment is going to be used to help the EPA meet its goals? What's interesting about this award is that uh, AVL is going to give the EPA an enhanced capability to do low-level vehicle emission testing. And they're going to be able to do this using uh, a whole variety of re uh, renewable fuels. And they're going to be able to do this testing on vehicles that is that are tested in, in various uh, operating conditions under different temperatures, uh, test cycles, and test sequences. This equipment's going to allow the EPA to have the state-of-the-art equipment to really go beyond what's, what's normally used in, in industry today to allow them to have this enhanced capability. And Frank, the, like they said, that uh, this is going to be used for a variety of fuels and, te and vehicles. How is the test equipment going to be able to accommodate those types of fuels and vehicles? That's a good question, Matt. Uh, when we talk about renewable fuels, we're talking about the challenges of a research and development uh, project, as well as the challenges associated with meeting legislative requirements. And at AVL, we believe that in order to meet both of those challenges, the key component is being able to provide flexible and modular devices that can be seamlessly integrated in an open uh, uh, architecture, if you wish, in an open environment. And the key here is to be able to provide the flexibility to the user. In our case, the user can configure any of the systems. Uh, they can modify it. Uh, they can match different sampling systems with different measurement devices. They can uh, match up a measurement device with a particular test cycle or a particular test system. Um, the automation system itself has the controls and the uh, uh, calculation capabilities to pretty much handle any type of analysis. This has been Matt Monahan of SA International reporting from the SA 2011 World Congress.